Penangko si uyazi, 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 penangko si uyazi. Hey, Mendes Empire, what's up? Today, you see, we're going to be answering your questions. All your questions that you sent on Instagram. Before that, guys, Luxury VIP said, Hi, come on. We've been seeing. See, we're getting these LV bags and wada wada, getting all the good gifts. No, our men deserve something, you know. And I was like, okay, come on, let me see. What do you have for me? Luxury VIP came through for this guy. So, guys. Put up your hands I get <laughs> and give a round of applause. Luxury VIP. Wow. Such a huge bag. Oh. Okay, get unbox, unbox. 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 Look at this guys. The oh. quality looks so good. Look at this guys. Mm, 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 mm. The material. I'm so in love with this oh, bag. Oh nice. They even have this to mm. keep the shape. You. It's a really big bag. Yeah, it's a really big, big bag. As usual, guys, slip. <laughs> yes. La lel, la lel. How do you feel about your bag, Clever? No, I'm so happy with this bag. Thank you, Luxury VIP. Much later. For our new subscribers, they got to see Sendilu Wuti what they would like to know about Siwe and they send questions on Instagram mm -hmm. so Siwe is answering those questions I've done my part you can scroll down you'll see that one mm -hmm. if you wanna know more about clever guy here <laughs> <laughs> y'all better not ask me crazy things y'all were you born in a Christian family? yes firstly I-L-Y-S-M what does that mean? Jo? huh? what is it? I L Y S M hat. I love you so much. I love oh, you too. Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> How did you get saved? I pray for you both. Thank you for praying for us. We're praying mm -hmm. for you too. It was a while ago, guys. 2010. I was 10 years old. We were at a church camp at okay. the church I used to go to, a three day church camp. And on that Sunday, the teachers were like, So who would like to accept Jesus into their lives? And I put my mm -hmm. little hand up, ready to accept uh, the Lord. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> As you grow up, things shouldn't change, but they mm. do change. Your focus diverts. Mm. Not that your focus is completely off of God. It's still mm. on him, but now you're thinking about other things as well. So you don't love him the same way you mm. did when you were a kid. So I then rededicated my life game when I was like 18 because okay. I could feel the I yeah. still loved him, but not the way I loved him mm. when I was a kid, you know? Because sometimes along the way, maybe you'll see things differently, yeah. but then you come back and mm. say, no... It was better and you miss the relationship you mm, had with a, God when you were yeah. a kid. You're like, it was so pure, you mm. know? So 10 and 18. Okay, 10 and 18. What were your views on marriage before you met Clever? And have they changed? They have changed because growing up, there wasn't really anyone there to model what a good marriage looks like mm. for me. I had never seen a couple be madly in love with each other and we born in Leon. Do you know you, mm. you can see happily married couples, you can mm. see it in their faces. So I had never really seen that. So my view of uh, marriage was very pessimistic because mm. the marriages that I was seeing, people just looked mm. sad. Like they. Except Bosiso and, and Tombi from Generations, eh? But that's uh, acting, it's yeah, not real. Acting. Yeah, mm. so I know you're trying to crack a joke. <laughs> Really? I was pessimistic. I, I mm. didn't even want to get married, really. But now, I would say I'm less pessimistic about marriage. Mm. I believe marriage is what you make it. So it's also important to not project other people's relationships onto yours. Hey. Or other people's marriages onto yours. Mm. Just because someone else's marriage isn't working out doesn't mean yours won't. Tell them, baby. As long as you both want it and mm. you both are going in... 100%, 100%, mm. not 50 50. Mm. It'll work out. How old are you as you are speaking so energetic and so fluent? Not the hand. How old are you? Because, like, Woo. wow, the things that come out from your mouth is like you, you are Baby. 50 years old. <laughs> not 50. <laughs> I just hey. turned 21 mm. recently. What made you see that clever is the one? I am the one first. <laughs> <laughs> 
of I course. The one. Hey, okay. You know. Firstly, I have trust issues, so he had a lot of proving to do. <laughs> All the <laughs> <That's it. laughs> No, he had to really prove himself to me for me to even break down my walls. I feel like he really did prove himself to be genuine to me. As time went by, I realized, no, this is a good guy. But more than anything, my mom growing up always told us to pray for our spouses as young as we were. Like we were like 11, 10, okay. and she was telling us to pray for our spouses. Mm. At the time, I was like, what lady mm. but now it makes sense so that as you grow up it's already something you've mm. planted it's already a seed that's there i remember mm. telling god what i would like in mm. a partner i don't want to gas him up but i do feel like, like he checked most of the boxes tick, tick. i'm still gonna tick all of them i wanna <laughs> tick 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 all of them how do you keep your relationship fun with clever just the things you you do personally you do, yeah. okay clever and i spend a lot of time together which makes it much easier for us to experience life together mm. that's how we even build inside jokes we see something together we laugh about it it also mm. forms a bond it's like it's only something that you two know because mm. you guys were together and also i think being friends with your partner is so mm. important clever is my best friend yeah oh you are my best friend too oh. <laughs> which high school did you attend and which subject did you do i went to Pantone girls high school maths i did physics i did life science and i did accounting wow for the first term mm. of my grade 10 year i liked accounting i got like what 85 percent for wow. the term but i loved drama more so mm. i swapped uh, mm. Accounting for drama instead. Oh. Then I did maths, physics, life science, and drama. Drama. Hey, yeah, yeah, baby, no drama. <laughs> hey, hey, hey no drama, baby. She's very good because you got what distinction. Wow. For baby, drama. Really? Have you always been this KV? I live, love your body. Thank you so much. And yes. I have I mm. have. You know, funny story actually. My mom tells me I was like a few months old, maybe five months old my gran and my okay. mom were mm. bothering me my mm. gran is busy holding me and my mom is next to her and then my mom says my gran was like <laughs> five months <laughs> my gran is <laughs> my gran was like Hi, and Oma was like, Hi, ma, hi, Gagin Gane Pelale, Ganjan. It was so funny. Now I think about it, like, I'm really like, Really, mm. Gran, how can you see in Gane? Yeah. But oh, Coco can see, oh, I guess. Wow. <laughs> so, according to my granny, I've been thick since I was five months old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, what are you studying? I am studying law. Gonna defend me. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get Clever to stop biting his nails? I told him that I would never speak to him again if he carried on. And it happened that one day I was a bit stressed. I I for a day. So two. Two. Eesh. The mm. thing with biting your nails is that you're not only affecting your nails, you're also affecting your teeth. Because your okay. teeth, they chip. Yeah. So the more you bite, the more the you more chip your chip. teeth. Now you want to have chipped teeth. Mm. Is that what you want? No, I don't want chip teeth. You have nice body. Do you go to gym? I do home workouts, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna start going to the gym now to tone up because I'm still on a weight loss weight journey. Loss. I'm gonna tone up probably next year. How many kids do you want to have and do you plan in staying in KZ10 forever? Forever is a long time, mm. okay? So I can't guarantee. Mm. I like KZN for now, but mm. I can't say what will happen Forever. in the future. And kids, if we are, if we can stop vaccinating, then we we can talk maybe about kids. But for now, we're still busy with vaccines, COVID, pandemic. <laughs> but besides all of that, a kid, Mbana, yo, a kid is <laughs> hard work, yo, yo, igale. So Jay, big up to all the parents out Parasas. there. Y'all are doing a good mm. job, for real. What kind of a kid were you in school? Shy, class clown, bully, glamour? I think I was a little bit of everything besides mm. the bully part. Sometimes I was shy, mm. sometimes I was... But more than anything, I was an extrovert. Mm. And like, I had a lot of acquaintances. What's your favorite verse in the Bible? Yo, there's a lot. Okay, chapter. Definitely be Deuteronomy 28. Mm. 
it's about yeah. obedience and disobedience mm. how excited are you to be moving in with clef uh, are we moving in okay let's say we are moving in when we are moving in <laughs> uh -huh. how challenging do you think it will be well, Clever wants a house manager, like a helper. And we're having conflicts with that because I don't believe in helpers, personally. I want to do things myself mm -hmm. and I want him to do things himself as well. The thing is, I'm going to have a big house. Yeah, so we can now, still do things ourselves in a guys, big house. Guys, and I like a clean, clean, clean house. Who's going to make it dirty because we won't have a child? So, you know, but I'll be busy. I'm a busy man, you know? Yeah, so who's going to make it dirty? Have, we're going to have a big house. I'm going to get a bill and I'm going to get a bill and I'm going to get a bill and now I have to come back and then clean the food. Who said the house is going to be dirty? I'm not a no. dirty person. No, I'm a clean person. More than anything. Ungifuna mina in the Amish channel emope every day. Tungang any dust, tungang any loot. And then I'll do that. Excuse you, you, thank you. Thank you. That's what I need. You then also you will do, do it. it. Not that I will. No. Not that fine, we will. Fine, fine. Mang mo pile mina, then you wash the dishes. In king lay. No, but I don't no, 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 no. No, but then you can't. You can't do that. You can't do that. No, I don't want to do anything. No, no, you can't just not do anything. You can't. This is a household. No, but we're gonna be working. We're gonna be working. Yes, but we can still manage our house. It's called balance. No way. Yeah, wash my wind. My kitchen. It's great bonding. Forget all Luther Vendross is better. No, it's it's good to do it once in a while. But this thing I'm talking about doing. Yes, we do it every Saturday. I don't have that time. No, guys, no. Hi, Bo Clever. No, no, no. I don't have that time. Let's move. Let's move. I'm gonna have a mate. We gonna have a mate. No. We need to no. reach an agreement. No. We need to reach no. an agreement this or else, and I'm not gonna be able to do it, baby. Because what is it? Yeah, baby, I'm gonna get it. 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 Baby, I'm gonna get we are just Can we not have a house managing it? Okay. Was it clean? Yeah. Was. Hey, baby, let's not do that Was. in front of people who are Christians on our page. As page, you see, I see a pinky promise. I'm a pinky promise. I know I'm a Christian. Baby. Vala no moon, hello. Hold did you start speaking English as a child? Wow. Why are you not going to go to the house? I think I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Wow. I think my mom balanced it. I think what mainly influenced a lot of English speaking in my childhood was the movies I was watching. Gang Bubo, Madia, or Tyler Perry. And you know Americans be talking like they be they be they be rolling and doing all that stuff, you know. So I was like, why are these people talking like this? And I'd listen to them and then I'd copy them and and then it just ended up being Jay that mm. thing. Maybe that's so. the difference with me because I don't watch movies. And I was not reading books. I've just started now reading books. I was only hearing English in school and the teachers sometimes were not good. English, <laughs> until I went to a school where I had a English teacher who's English. Okay, I, yeah. I get you. Also me, it's not like my parents were mm. speaking English to me all the time mm. at at home. My mom didn't want me to be like a snob. Mm. So she was mixing Zulu English. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Okay. Your first period and how did you tell your family? My first period was on the 11th of June. Okay, 11th of okay. June 2014. I was 13 years old at 3 a.m. The night before when I was sleeping. I felt hot, Sinje, my whole body. And I was like, what's going on? But I mised, and then I slept. And then I wake up, and I need to go pee. And it was like 3 a.m. As I'm peeing, ta-da! I saw... <laughs> Japan is here. I screamed at the top of my lungs, and I called my mom. Mom! Dying. Well, I mean, I knew what was oh, happening, but yeah. I was like shocked because hey, yeah. well, now and then she came and yeah. she prayed over me. And don't sleep on God, y'all. Ever since my mom prayed for me that day, mm. I have never had period pains. Wow. She she actually prayed that I don't get period pains, and mm. I've never gone them ever in my life. Mm. It's just discomfort. So now it means you trick me when you're saying you're on your period, and then can you please bring me chips and what what what? I have pains. Can you please? <laughs> 
baby don't okay. lie i don't lie i always tell you that i don't feel pain it's just a lot of discomfort it's like i'm uncomfortable i just want to learn how long they're in my wings and guys and one time my pain has opened did you make me the cuckoo 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 my wings can't do any white and as well Favorite childhood memory. I was four years old and my mom had taken me out to McDonald's. She bought me a happy meal. Mm. I ate. I couldn't finish it, so she packed it nicely for me. Mm. And then we were holding hands, walking back mm. home. It felt like mm. a date. So like a date with my mom. You know, cute. you know I only ate McDonald's when I was in tertiary. Clever and making everything about him. This is Siwe Tech. Now he in tertiary and McDonald's. Sort of baby. Stop it. Get some help. When we got home, and Lala u blanket on the floor and mm. put a movie for me and I finished the rest of my meal mm. and she went to go take a shower. Yeah. And to me that was just so special. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. What <laughs> did you wanna be when you were little? A doggo tailor. Everyone, guys. Every child. I wanna be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I young and answer bonicas and to wait. Sort of people said this is not a part of me. I'm used to it. <laughs> Remember, you said you wanna build seven hospitals. I still do. Seven. I still will. Mm. I don't have to be a doctor to build hospitals. Can you drive? I am doing my lessons right now. Guys, be careful on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm about to get at this car. I'm about to get this. This guy has been agitating me. Be careful on the I'm road. I'm gonna okay? get at this car. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Guys. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. What's your take on getting paid more than me? Is that your gen? I feel like I send an email, guys. Mm. Who gets paid? What gets paid? How see, much? Either way, Clever won't know if I make more than him. Mm. Because in don't be I know mad. In daughter, I must in come my, through in my daughter, in for the daughter. girl. No, I'm kidding. I don't mind. Honestly, this would be a, a question for Clever. Mm. Would you mind? No, because guys, I want to they equate my way with irrespect. So as long as mm -hmm. there's mutual respect and we are giving my ha! Because guys, yeah, I'm a son and I'm paying your money. That's the thing. Wee. I won't give you money, I'll buy you gifts. There's okay. a difference, but we're not both. Okay. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. Do you get people saying your body is fake? Come on now. Uh, yeah. Not right now, but I remember it happened in grade five. Mm, a bang. This boy spread a rumor in primary school that I had gotten surgery. Yeah, grade five. My eh? bum. That's 11 years old. So oh. imagine, I don't even have a bank account. How oh, am I going to oh, pay for the surgery? Oh, 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 I, really I want to have a wait with him. So even if it was happen now, I wouldn't be sad about it because I was sad about it back then. So now yeah. it's like, uh, you are the coolest. No. Me too. What's your zodiac sign? I don't believe in that stuff, but I'll fall under Sagittarius. Where was Siwe born? Saint Mary's, Saint Mary's in mm. Marion Hill. Mm. I was actually supposed to be born in Durban, King King Edward, I think. Mm. That's a hospital in Durban, yeah, eh? yeah. yeah, my mom wanted to give birth to me there, but the contractions were too much, and mm. they were driving. So my mom was like, "Ah, uh -uh, stop at this hospital." I mean, now we're just going to get in. We're not late. We're not washed. No, no, no. I wasn't premature. Listen, open this your ears. Wash it. I don't know what happened to Uma mm. if she didn't see that her water broke or mm. I don't know. Sababa mm. in Dengues. So imagine in Dengues to Durban, that's a mm. distance, right? Okay. So by the time I'm ready here, I'm like, mm. I want to come out. So she mm. was like, nah, 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 nah. Let's go here. That's what I'm saying. You wanted to come out. <laughs> and you didn't and realize come it. Out. No, 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 <laughs> not yet. You are he spent right 11 now. months. Hey! 11 months in his mom's tummy. No, oh, this guy. Mm. Ah, fun, <laughs> poor man. Yeah. 11 months. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Special key. You are. One thing you value about yourself right now. 
things that are around me that I am grateful for. Small things that were looked down upon, mm. like health, being mm. healthy, especially in this time of pandemic. Mm. I value family. I value sleep, good mm. sleep. Sometimes when you're going through a lot, you can't mm. even get sleep. Rest is really from the Lord. Yeah. Just to sleep like a baby, those mm. small things. Mm. that we take for granted really become the biggest things <clears throat> especially oh, oh. right now one of my friends m7 was saying right now he could pay to sleep because oh, you guys all right there's a lot going so, on oh, oh, a lot oh, going oh, on oh, right. so, see, you know, for about three hours and then some of you guys m7 braids or waves Okay. Razor okay. weaves, both, weaves. both. But right now I'm feeling um uh, wigs because it's so much easier to put on. It's like 45 minutes to install, Is whereas that easy? braids take hours. I prefer wigs right now but i love both who is your favorite bible character and you had to spend a day with them what would you do there's so many bible characters i love okay let's say except jesus because you know, yeah except jesus, jesus. Okay. There's a lot because I would want to ask Daniel how he felt mm. seeing the fire because I'm sure he thought God was going to be like, No, mm. you don't have to go in the fire, you're mm. fine. But or, God was or, like, Get in that fire. Mm. Oh. Or, mm, like, we're, wow. not, we're not really going to go in this fire. Wow. Mm. I would also want to ask Daniel how he felt going into the lion's den, like mm. hearing the lions because they were probably mm. growling and doing mm. noises. And how did you, yo, and I would want to ask Job. How we felt losing everything and oh guys and Esther, I don't know us Esther. Put your put your on. <laughs> Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Put your on. Oh, which one are not your way? I want to ask Esther having to now take on this role where you could be killed by this mm. king, but the favor that Esther had, your guys, there's a lot. I'm sorry. Oh, not your own and Jalung of his own booze to one guy. In the well, yes. Jonah, what was like, going on in there? Like, what was going on in there? Bro, David, when he was seeing Goliath, what was going on? Like, how did you feel seeing yeah, Goliath? Because he was yo. doing 10 feet. In the only way to na maso shaki na wonga po ng move. How you want to enjoy each other glomzos? Like how he felt looking at your guys. Ah. Peter walking on water. Paul was Saul, ne? So I don't ask Saul how it felt seeing that bright light because Saul used to persecute the people mm. of God. Then there was a bright light that mm. made him blind for a couple of days, mm. and when God restored his sight, fish scales, fish scales mm. fell from his eyes. In, I don't want to know what those fish scales look like. How you it know, felt. Was, you it's a pole. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, if a man be in Christ, he is a new, new creation. creation. The old has passed away. Behold, things new. have become new. Who else? Who else? <laughs> Are you <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, uh, The last one. Give us the last one. Moses. What about Moses? Moses. <gasps> the first five books. But Moses. I would want to see the mm. Red Sea parting, but I, I don't think I would want to mm. be. I would want to spend the day with Moses because Moses was goishing. Those people were mm. stressing him out, eh? Yo. So I don't want people stressing me out. I would want to know Elisha was the one who was taken away by God. Elisha told Elijah to look at him. I don't know how God took him. Mm. He said, "The moment you see me being taken away, you will receive my powers." Mm. Who was who's the, who's the one now? Baby, look corner and then uncle uncle to stop Elanga from Uglon. It was Elijah. It was Elijah. It was that's Elijah. why. That's why. That's why. Yeah. yeah it was Lord. Elijah. Mm, yes. Okay. So now we're gonna start preaching. <laughs> And then gonna, all of a sudden it's gonna be Kaya. But yeah, the, there's too many for me. I mean, mm. I mean, look at how excited I am about yeah. this. There's too many guys. I don't wanna talk to all of them. How do you maintain your body, or it's just good genes? Love you. Love you too. Genes play a huge part because my granny, my mama, my aunts, they all thick, thick. Like them ladies is thick. Mm-hmm. Oh, thick. <laughs> they really are thick like mm. so i can definitely say i got it from my mama but obviously mama. you need to maintain so the mm. way that i maintain is calorie deficits when i need to intermittent fasting sometimes i do 16 8 sometimes i do 18 6 sometimes i do 23 1 but 
it's i'm still on the journey the weight loss journey so mm. i'm learning my body as i go okay why are you so pretty i got it from my mama i got it from oh, my mama Let's thank move. you that's one thing you dislike about clever boy <laughs> there's a lot i move when we first started dancing he had a lot of discipline but as time went on, he started losing his <laughs> discipline and he's uh, less disciplined. Mm. But now I can see he's trying his best, Jamie. Mm. Now he's he's really trying to build his discipline. For example, if we decide that for the next week, we will not be having starch. So no rice, no pap, no bread, nothing like that. What will Clever do? He will have pap, he will have rice, he will have every type of starch in the world. And then when I ask him, he'll first start with all the right things. And then at the end, he'll say, and I had a little bit of rice. Like, really, babe. I don't want to see you disappointed, because now. But now, we're looking at what? And what? And he'll what? say, I had a car. I know, when Kleba is taking a long time listing things, he did something wrong. And one day, I ate some spookies. So, uh, bamba, like, and he's <laughs> It tells me everything he's been eating. It was a little crumb, yes, spookies. I was like, are these spookies? Fish. <laughs> <laughs> no nakisa. This means you're beautiful in Venda. No nakisa. No nakisa. Oh, no nakisa. Thank you so much. No nakisa. What are some of the things you've learned on your faith walk with God? to obey and to trust i think that's the key ingredient trust in god and lean not on your own, own understanding, understanding proverbs and to obey guys obedience is important because it saves you from a whole lot of things eh? and sometimes we don't obey christ and then we get burnt and we like but you did tell me to listen to you it's but true. there's a second chance so trust and obey if you were to leave with one thing from your burning house what would it be not a person but a thing I'll probably take my phone. Probably for you to be say something. And also, I need to call people to tell them kuyasha. So if I don't have my phone, how am I gonna tell people that I'm in mm. danger? You know what I mean? When is your birthday? The thirtieth of November. Mm, okay. A few weeks ago. How many siblings do you have? I have three older siblings. I'm the youngest one. Boys or girls? All girls. What would you change about yourself if you could? I would have started eating clean at a young age because mm. weight loss is not easy. Mm. Weight loss is not as easy as it is to gain weight yeah. and that's the problem. So I think I would have started earlier just being conscientious mm. about that before indulging. What do you think attracted Clever into or to you? What did he see in you? He had never seen me. He had only heard about me. Mm. from my sister so i think he fell in love with my character first mm. before actually seeing me all that was left was for him to put a face to this character so i think firstly before anything he fell in love with my character not mm. knowing me what would you say you answer this now am no, i correct no 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 this is about you you've been no, saying am that am i correct oh yeah 100 percent correct really yeah what so are you your didn't fall in love with booty not you pausing because now we're just talking about Jonah now. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're talking about booty. We're, we're just talking about Jonah. Paul, you remember David? <laughs> now you want to talk about booty? What are your deal breakers? Definitely mm. infidelity. Now as long as what infidelity, you know, until the track, the track is pretty much. There's this post that I saw on Facebook and this guy touched a nerve for a lot of ladies. He said, when a man cheats, best believe that he loves the other woman more than he I does. Know. Why? Mm. Because cheating is not a walk in the park. It mm. requires a lot of commitment, a lot of time, attention, money. a lot of money. The guy who's cheating knows the risks involved. He knows you. that if you are to find out... He it's could over. risk losing you, he could risk losing the relationship. Mm. And he still takes that risk? You don't love me, bro. Mm. You mm. clearly love that lady. If you are willing to take that risk and the commitments and delete against all these things for that lady, then why don't you just be with her? Mm. What positive influence has Clever been to Siwe? What do you do now that you never did before meeting Clever? What did you use to do 
that you no longer do i was very stubborn i still am but not to the level that i was before mm. he taught me how to be patient also how to negotiate yes. he taught me how to negotiate i'm a pakistan because mm, guys i, I can negotiate <laughs> So we are now best cooking come yard. Sangeng sagu shogning because we've been together for a while. How to live? How to live life? How to be street street so what? How to be street smart? Street smart. Street smart. That you um you had you 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 definitely told me how to get out of my shell because I I am very reserved. Because even when I when I met you, you was just you know always in the house, water water. So, I'm from the same I'm from the city. Imagine, and I, I've lived in Durban for a long time, Imagine. but I did not know. Yeah, but, but he told mm. me love more than anything. Ah, oh, no. oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! So, yes, guys, we yes, hope guys, you answered all you. your questions. Yeah. For the seaweed tag, and baby, one more time, let's show your bag. Wow! My bag. Come on, guys, this is lovely. It's lovely. Come on. It's a very beautiful very bag. It's beautiful. very gorgeous. Thank you so much you to so much. Luxury VIP 55 for this mm. lovely, luxurious mm. Louis Vuitton bag. The wow. quality is absolutely amazing. Stuff. Thank you so much to our subscribers. Guys, we love you. We love you. We love you. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas. Bye. 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 Angi tatala, angi begela, angi susela, angi begele, uno bubelela. Sidnessy is not my portion. Sidnessy is not my portion. I declare. I decree. Something.